black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Subway again? This guy's just been crushing Subway lately. Well, it is what it is. I can get on food kicks. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just get on a food kick and I can stay on it for like a while, aka Whoppers. Sometimes I can just, I just get on Whoppers. Right now, it's Subway. I'm on Subway. So we have Subway again today. Switched her up, but as per my other Subway video, like I said, I had the tuna crave. I still haven't satisfied that tuna crave, so I had to just get it today. It was on my mind, on my mind. On my, I tried. I looked at other menus. I went all the other places, and I was like, I need that tuna sandwich. So I got a six-inch tuna, and then I'm trying something new today, pushing the boundaries at Subway, a, uh, a bacon, ham, honey mustard, something or other, cheese, but... This is crazy. Uh, as a Canadian, we're known to, for having crazy uh, ketchup chips. And Miss Vicky's, being an amazing Kettle Cook brand, came out with sweet and spicy ketchup. So we're going to crack those. And I got a lemonade. Okay, I got a brisk lemonade today. So let's get into this. A couple things to chat nougat about and uh, try these chips and things like that. All right, unraveling here. What do we have? This is the ham one I do believe we got it panini pressed again but we'll talk about the toppings on that momentarily so that means this is the tuna and I did something risky today I normally get it's the age-old debate and question for my life with tuna we'll talk about it here momentarily but I got the tuna pressed I like a toasted tuna sandwich but I don't like when the fish gets hot so I don't like tuna melts I'm hoping this didn't get the fish too hot but I also love a soft tuna sandwich. But today I went, I, I'm, I'm trying something new with the grill press. Hopefully it's not hot fish, tuna, stinky. Okay, got a crack attack, got to do a sniff test. Okay. I love ketchup chips. Mm, reminding me off top of old Dutch. Very old Dutch. Not Lay's, Doritos has a barbecue Dorito. Not like that, very old Dutch. Okay. Lay me down, sweet darling. That's not even a real song. Okay. So season wise, not too dark, pretty light looking, not super heavy either, but let's find out what this is like. Sweet and spicy, right? Sweet and spicy. Not a ketchup chip I've ever had before. Spicy. It's always just ketchup. It's building. The first few were a little underwhelming. But as I eat them, it's stacking. Sweeter and spicier every time. But the spice is just barely there. <clears throat> okay. So, a tuna sub. In the press, it gets smooshed out the side, <laughs> evidently. What do I get on it? Lettuce, onion, pickle, green pepper, banana pepper and cheese. I know you're thinking, where's the tomato? Tomato don't belong on a tuna sub. and or sandwich for that matter. It just really doesn't. What it does, 
when's the last time we had bike cams <laughs> up close in Percy what does work on tuna acidity from pickles stuff and those sharp stinky onions right do spicy ketchup chips compliment it Not bad. Gets a little lost. But not bad. How do we feel? This up close. And this personal it can get more personal that's that is the max amount of personal it can get right there on some nom nom <laughs> sammy boy type shit right here He has hands down made some of the weirdest videos I've ever watched <laughs> on the internet. That said, I love the guy. Nice dude. Always been fascinating to me. <laughs> how wild and crazy he's willing to get. No holes barred. Cheers to a uh, lemonade brisk. I always forget how good lemonade is. Way slept on drink. I'll tell you something, that up close and personal, that's that first six inches was amazing. It's always the first six inches that are the best. <laughs> but for real, that was a really good tuna sub. That hit the crave massive. Okay, now. Traversing into new territory, this new sub, a ham bacon. Well, you can't even see the ham bacon. Well, yeah, you can. There it is. Got your ham bacon on this side, and then all the fixings. Right. This has all my normal veggies, basically, right? Uh, that I put on my other subs, but the sauces are very different. I went with the designer of the sandwiches choice, which is a smoky honey mustard. Okay, but I also added garlic aioli. Because I've never tried the garlic. I really before. Mm. She's leaking out the butt. It's too close, it's too close. Pull us back away. And then there's some people out there 
like going, I love how close that is. <laughs> It's a good sub. You can definitely get the ham and the bacon. Very noticeable. Very prevalent. The smoky honey mustard. Not all that smoky. Not even really getting a lot of garlic out of it either. Not too very uh, loud sauces, if you will. Rather subdued. I like a loud sauce. We know this. And the same dude I had good rapport with last time was the dude who made my sub this time, but. He was just getting on a shift. He walked in the door like right before me. By the time he got around, he was taking care of me. So you could tell he was in like, that started a shift. You gotta see what's up, where everything's at, what levels are like. He was in a different zone this time. Still a good guy though. I definitely took care of the tuna crave. The first six, amazing. This, nice to try new things. Not, not bad. Not a game changer though. And I'm finally just now getting some of that honey mustard to really taste how it's supposed to hear the butt end, but. Definitely not a sub I'd add into my lineup of the like three subs that I get. Maybe four, I have a strong four. I have the Italian BMT, number one, number two tuna, number three rotisserie chick. And then sometimes I crave just a really saucy, toasted, loaded, just veggie sub. Loaded with veggies, loaded with sauce, toasted bun. It's like a saucy salad in a crispy bun. It's like a panzanella sub, you know what I mean? So anyways, nice to try new things, even though it's not that new because we're on a subway cake and we've been eating it. But anyways, you know what to do. We good, live well, stay true, <laughs> peace.